what is up guys welcome to another video of today's angler doing something a little different today i'm on the great lakes searching for some big pike this week's weather hasn't been so good for uh, musky fishing flat calm 80 degrees we got a little indian summer and uh one thing i like to do at that time period it usually happens every year you get this warm up in september kind of delays uh seasonal progression so uh one thing that i always love to do a few years ago it was dogfish for us and pike as well and uh this year hopefully it's pike hopefully the pike will save this week of uh fishing but uh we will find out i haven't been out here in three months or so and uh weeds are a little different they're not up to the surface which i kind of like they're just halfway up so it's like perfect perfect casting wise um a lot colder up here and uh, more wind so i got a good drift ahead of me here and i'm uh, excited to uh, try to catch a 40 inch great lakes pike all right gonna start off with eh, it's a little heavy for it but hmm. shimano tranks 500 and uh shock and all gonna go rip this medusa hell yeah color mid medusa a little bit smaller than what i've been used to throwing so this feels kind of weird gonna go with something bright right away and uh see how this goes turn the trolling motor on get my graph set up just working in about 10 feet of water and uh yeah it's not too crazy out here it's a nice little chop which i was kind of scared about being it completely flat calm which i would not say is a good thing so just gonna pop this medusa around sitting in about nine right now can we just get a first cast pike we'll see um water temps are 63 so i would have to imagine some of these big rogue giant pike have to be close to the weeds at this point in the year it's generally a, a good time to fish pike in september when you get those and get that water cooled down so we'll see here it's a little lumpy but i like it come on just start just bite i only got an afternoon out here i just wanted to see what was going on up in the up on the great lakes so there you go come on come on all right that didn't take too long all right, well, fourth cast. I'll take that. You a good one or no? Not quite, not a bad one though. That's a good start. Not a bad one at all. Gosh, I forgot how pretty these things were. Here's about a 30 incher. Yeah, that'll work. That is what we're after. Some Great Lakes Pike action. Sweet. There's a nice chunk. Oh, he's got a little bite mark out of him. Filming in the sun, so this probably isn't the most perfect picture, but they are definitely getting that fall feed bag on. Sweet. See you, buddy. There we go. There we go. There's one. Little guy. Alrighty, another Great Lakes Gator Rooney. They are a lot fatter than the last time I saw them though. But come out. Where's mama? Where's that 40 inch you're at? Oh, we got a lot of bait right here too. Alright, I like it. Now what I've been finding, weeds are uh, definitely not as good as they used to be. So just going on my old waypoints and uh, there's still some scrub weed left. And it's still holding some fish, so good to know. There we go. There's one. Not a big one again. Although this one's going in a nice angle. Oh, it's staying good. Staying down good. Wow. Not as many head shakes, but nope, just hooked a little funny. Gosh, where's mama? All right. Just took it off spot lock, so I'll spot lock again. See if there's anybody more in the area. My goal was like five fish. And hopefully one of them being a big one. <laughs> and that has not happened. This is the smallest one today, and of course he had to eat it the worst. 
Okay, not too bad. Oh, come on, where's mommy? It's not what I'm after. But uh, if there's that, if they're in the area, there's gotta be a big one in the area. Just gotta keep working these weeds. Keep snapping this Medusa around, it's working good. Only been out since, I don't know, about 3.15. It's 3.50 now, so I'll take it. Biting fish is good. There we go. That feels better. There we go. No, not quite. It's darting one direction though, it's staying down. What do we got here, baby? Oh yeah, she's a good one, it's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, okay, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Just dogging me, just dogging me. Not ready. Oh yeah, look at that girl. Come on. Quite the time to have the small net. Wow, that'll work. Jeez, this net is too small. <laughs> How big are you? A little bit better than a mid 30s, I'd have to say. You could just tell right on that hook set. Oh yeah, gator roll. There it's what I'm after. Gosh, beautiful Great Lakes Pike there. Just chunky, chunky fish. So cool, holding her on. Just wanna get a bump on her, see what we're dealing with here. All righty, right at 37, 30, ah, 37 and a quarter. Beautiful fish though, holy cow. Yeah, guess I should have brought the bigger net. Sorry about that girl. Get you back down. Sweet. There she's off. Oh boy. All right. Mid Medusa, hell yeah, color. I like bright lures for pike. They seem, uh, they don't seem to really care what, what color you have on, but I like bright, especially in this clear water. And it's got a nicer stain to it at the moment. It's uh, not gin clear, it's a little bit stained. But I'm uh, gonna stay anchored right now. Let's see what else lives here. If there's a 37 and a quarter, you know there's a 40 plus just hanging around. And uh, yeah, I knew I jinxed myself. If you don't have. Oh, cool bite. Cool bite. <laughs> just hung it there at boat, came all the way up. Okay, we found some pike. <laughs> so there's like 25 inches hanging around eating lures when there's much bigger ones there. I'll take that. See if I can just get you on the first try here. Ah, yeah, good, 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 good. Whew, this is fun. There he is. Is that the one I marked? I marked a pike on this right next to the boat and I don't know it seemed seemed like a bigger mark than that that was just a smaller one uh, switched up spots fishing a little more scattered weed edge not real defined but seems to be fish just in these little clumps marked I don't know Maybe that is the one I marked. So cool with the side imaging, what you can see. Makes the whole finding fish process a lot easier. But I'm over a nice weed bed right here. Come on. Getting closer to that 40 inch magical number. So I am pretty dang pumped here. There we go. There's a nice one. Gosh, you just totally circum... Just... Jeez! Wow! What a fighter! Holy cow! 
gosh, he just totally came up and just ran with that bait. And that's a freaking nice one, isn't it? Jeez. Wow, just headshot of that Dusa. Okay. I'm learning today, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Just totally mouth that Dusa. What are we sitting at here? Okay, that's what I figured. 30 and a half. Nice fish. New spot. Bye bye. Well, folks, I'll show you how I'm working this Dusa. Now that I've a little more dialed in here, these weeds are only about coming off five feet off the bottom. So I'm, I'm going pretty slow with this. It takes a while for, the, for this mid Medusa to go go low so I'm just kind of still giving it that snap but just going a lot just giving it a lot of time in between each snap just to work that thing down there I'm sitting over a weed bed right now I'm not on the edge of it not sure how big this thing really is but uh, it's a pretty small spot so yeah I'm just staying off just staying spot locked here and just doing different casting angles but uh it's working that deuce nice and low man is this fun so many things to do in the northwoods just boggles my mind and uh i was kind of sick of muskies so these gators are keeping me entertained so cool Go. There we go. That feels good. That feels good. That feels like that other one. But it's not. It's not. Dang it. Come on, really? What is that? Eight now? Eight or nine? This might be number nine. Oh, is that scary sometimes? <laughs> oh, just crushing that Medusa. Man, that is nine fish, brand new bait, tails are intact, still holding up good. I love it. Gotta love the Medusas. Well, folks, and that's that. Um, fiery start. Holy cow. I mean, they were biting right off the bat uh, as the sun got lower. Um, I started getting a few more follows, less bites, and uh, I think they're pretty well shut down. So uh, anyways, cool little afternoon trip. I was only only out here for a few hours, so uh, it's cool to uh, see some more pike action. Good to know I found some good spots here, and to pop a nice 37 incher like that, super, super cool. I'm excited to explore some new areas up here, um, especially when the weather for musky fishing is not so good. Um, I like wind in the fall and it has not been windy and it's been warm. So good time to switch it up and uh, try for a different species. I love pike. I love fishing for pike. So uh, cool to get back out here and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed something different. Um, so cool we got a good one though. Still waiting to crack 40, but uh, I think that's the biggest pike of the year. So I'll take it. Super cool though. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video.